I have a, a few notes I want to make uh, when you uh, install the brake pads. I've seen uh, some videos they were showing you a two minutes brake pads installation and all this stuff. Uh, there's no two minutes brake pads installation. The right way to do it is just to inspect everything or all components has to do with the brake pads. You need to inspect the caliber. When you retract the uh, piston, it has to retract nice and easy. Make sure uh, this hose here, it's not a clock tub. If the piston doesn't go back easy, or there's just so much force to bring it back, could be the piston frozen inside the caliber or the hose itself is clocked up. Um, one more thing here is the those uh, pins, the caliber pins. Make sure they slide in and out easy, and they don't wobble too much. They don't have too much play in them. Uh, you have to use a special brake grease on them. Uh, I'm gonna take them off in a minute to see what uh, what I'm talking about. Also, you have to inspect the brake, uh, the disc. If it has more than 3,000 uh, of an inch uh, run out, you have to cut it or replace it. If it's have enough thickness, you can cut it. Uh, in many cases, I have to ask uh, the customer, I give them advice if they want to cut it or not. Um, if I see too much run out or I see a uh, worn out or like uh, there is a big groove here, I ask him to cut it or replace it. So that's up to them. In this case today, I'm just going to keep the same brake disc, they don't have too much run out in them. Um, also, uh, make sure of course the, uh, the brake fluid is clean, make sure the wheel bearing is not wobbling, it doesn't have a play in it, so that's also affect the brakes. Um, make sure the brake disc it doesn't have too much rust on it, it's not... Uh, if it has too much rust, like in this in this area here, it's gonna cause some. It's gonna make some noise uh, while while it's turning, or why why especially after you put new brake pads on the car. Okay, this car has uh, very low brake pads thickness. I'm gonna show it to you once I take it off. Uh, also, make sure you change the the brake hardware kit. Those things, the the brake slides on them. I recommend changing them. I've seen a lot of cars, they never change them. Even with the big name stores, I've seen these coming here with no, with the old one on. You can see them, this is the old one right here. So you better put the new one on. Also, uh, make sure when you install the brake pads, it goes in snugged, not too hard, not too easy. But don't force it, don't hammer it. I've seen uh, some guys, they push it with a hammer. This is really bad. You, could, you shouldn't do that. This is, has to go nice and easy with hands. Uh, one last thing I just want to note here, I hope I didn't forget anything. The, when you remove these, uh, these hardware here, this, those, uh, those shims or whatever you want to call them, those pieces here, make sure you clean under, uh, under, under them before you install them. When you remove the old one, clean on the brick uh, caliber bracket. Uh, just you know with a brush or you know if they, if they have too much rust on it just make sure you clean them really well make sure this is sits nice and easy and the brake pad uh, if fly you know if the, the the movement of it it's, um, it's it's really smooth those has to move in and out smooth so I'm gonna get to work right now I'm gonna show you uh, while I'm taking this off okay so I'm gonna remove the caliber first thing first I recommend hanging this on a strut with the hook like this. Don't leave it hanging on the hose. It's gonna damage the hose. I'll show it to you. Okay, as you can see, I hang the caliber here. There's no tension on the hose. This way, I don't have any issues afterward. You can see the brake pads, how lo how low they are, compared to the new one. They are, I mean, very much all of the car like this. 
This car came from an oil change place and they were telling them that the brake fluid is low and they, are, they have a fluid leak. Uh, as soon as I, they, heard, they said this, I know it's, um, they have a very bad or low brake, uh, brake bad. So that's the case. You can see how low they are. Again, comparing to the new one. All right, so let's get to work, move more stuff. All right. These they move, uh, they come out with no, not too much effort, just that's a good sign. I like it like this. Sorry for the fire truck. So, so this is the old uh, spacer here or the old uh, hardware. It goes here. Make sure under here, clean. This area is clean. The way the brake, the old brake pads came off, I, I'm very much was confident this is clean. That doesn't have too much. I've seen cars with a lot of rust here, accumulation of, uh, of junk. So make sure this is, you clean this area up and down. All right, this is the top one here. Here's the other one. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more thing. See this here? It's, uh, it moves, but it's not that bad. In this case, I'm gonna take him out and just put some grease on him. These pens, you could clean the old grease a little bit. There are some grease and saw, but doesn't look bad. It looks it looks decent. I just add some uh, brake lubricant. This is high heat uh, grease. You could buy any one of your choice. You could just put some here. Bring it back. You could see how it moves by back by itself. You notice this? I push it in, it goes back by itself. So now it's nice and easy. Same thing I do for the top. In many cases, make sure you don't mix up the two bins. The top one goes in the top and the bottom one goes in the bottom. Because this it has this rubber here. The bottom one doesn't have it on this car. It's a, it's a Honda Odyssey 2008. Clean this a little bit. Put some grease. So this is very much is gonna be done for the car. You could you could see how easy it moves. Watch this. Is this a clear? Look how hard how easy it moves. I push it in, it goes back by itself. Okay. So this is very much done. We're going to uh, put this uh, hardware kit. Make sure they, they go in nice, snugged in. The top one, same thing. I get a lot of cars, but I've seen these replaced, they never change them. So, here uh, you could add a grease, you don't have to. If you want to, you could add some. Very little. Do not overdo it. You could just put it here. I don't recommend putting it there because I don't, you don't want it to touch the brake disc. I just put it here. Very, very thin uh, film. Thin leg, thin coat. This is goes in here. You can see it moves in nice and easy. It doesn't. I've seen uh, guys they were hammering this in. If you hammer this in, you have a problem with those uh, hardware here. I mean, there is a dirt here stuck somewhere, um, bushing against the brake pads. Okay, make sure this move in 
nice and easy. Like I said, you touch this with, don't overdo this. You don't want um, grease to come on the brake disc. Alright, so this is the inside one. You can see they move in and easy. You can see them move with no problem. Nice and easy. So all grease then. So now we're gonna retract the, uh, the caliber. These pistons have to go back uh, nice and easy, without any pressure. I mean, without too much force. Right, let's um, do this. See, they move back nice and easy. I'm not putting too much pressure. Very light pressure, they're going back. Gives you confidence. Okay, this is all the way back. The same. All right. Again, one more thing I have to mention here: this hose here. Make sure. It's comfortably uh, relaxed, not twisted like this. I also seen nightmares like this before. I've seen cars coming in with issue with the brake and the brake, the brake hose twisted, and they they put like this. I don't know if you can see this. Okay, it looks like an S. Make sure it's relaxed. You hold it. You feel it's relaxed. Has to come nice and easy. You go on the brakes. Push this in. Position. Okay. I'm gonna recap for you what I just did here. I have to change my gloves too. Breaks easy. It's supposed to be the most expensive one. Anyway. You don't have to over tie this. Where is my ratchet? Just very much a little bit. Okay, let me recap on this. So again, here is the new brake pads installed already. Where is my light? You see them? If you can see, I'm trying to have a nice. Uh... All right, maybe they're here. Right there. You see the brake pad. Okay. So very much again. Make sure these uh, caliber pins, they 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 move nice and easy. So many cars, especially if they're old ones, this pin frozen inside. When it's a frozen, I have to remove the whole caliber and the whole uh, or the whole uh, ca uh, uh, caliber bracket on the pinch, clean it, um, sand it, uh, deal with it to the way to clean to 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 make sure it's a clean. And when I put the pin, it has to go in nice and easy, nice and easy with the grease. Um, if it doesn't, uh, if it feels weird, if it feels weird uh, that it 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 is still. After I clean it, it will have so much a play. You have to change the, the pins or the whole cali caliber bracket. Okay, so it's very important to have nice and smooth braking. Make sure, just putting a brake pads on and it looks easy, that, that's not the case. If you don't know how to do it, or if you don't feel confident, I would rather for you to take it to a professional to do it for you. Uh, I probably made it look so easy here, but this is very much the process. I changed the hardware kit, I changed the brake pads, I clean the, the bins inside, up and down. Don't mix them up. Uh, when you retract the piston, you have to retract it nice and easy. Make sure this hose is sitting nice here. 
don't get twisted and point it back and you think you have a you have a you have a good job here this is how you have to make sure this is nice smooth coming down it's running like water you can see how nice uh, and smooth because remember this is will turn with the wheel go right left this is gonna move all right so the wheel bearing has to be good make sure it's good too the disc has to have a less than 3,000 of an inch of uh, run out so you don't have vibration on a, a 60 miles an hour when you hit the brake if this is has if it's warped or if it has so much so much up and down or a lot of run out it's gonna vibrate when you hit the brake on a 60 miles or higher or lower around that area okay I hope I cover uh, as much as I can in these cases if I didn't take the uh, the brake fluid out I don't have to bleed the system I don't have to bleed the system if I open the the bleeder here or I remove any of these hoses or change them you definitely have to bleed the system in my case I don't have to bleed the system but make sure before you start the car once you finish the job bump the brake a couple times I can't say this enough before you start the car make sure you pump the brake when you're done with this with this job I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the whole car now but before you uh, before you um, start the vehicle make sure you pump the brake a couple times until you have really stiff uh, pedal okay because if you start the car and you move without pumping it you're gonna have an accident make sure you do this I uh, hope I cover as much as I can uh, I hope I didn't miss anything else um, that's very much it and the, as far as cutting the rotors I have a, another video I, I showed uh, in it how I cut these the brake, the brake desk I have I have Amco machine I cut them usually and if they're too thin I usually replace them but you could watch that video look at my uh, other videos I post it it has a brake desk uh, surf resurface thank you for watching